the Church of England today are voting whether God should be transgendered, male or female, and whether homosexuality and trans should be, if you like, uh, having their marriage uh, sanctified by God. These terms are blasphemous because when you look at the Hebrew term sanctification, sanctified, it means to separate yourself from the world. It means spiritual holiness. You give yourself to God to sanctify. When Christ says, I have sanctified myself to the Father, becoming one with God in holiness because he was divine. So the term sanctification is a Hebrew term that is very high, it's high spiritual status. It's a calling. It's a deep spiritual awareness and sacrifice of what it is to have a relationship with God. So it makes you question the state of the church that we are in a position where we have to live our lives in fear or we compromise. compromise the message of the living Lord and many churches today have decided they are going to compromise many have decided that they were going to play with the Word of God they were going to do exactly what Paul accused them of in Romans turning the truth of God into a lie turning the truth of God into a creature, into a living form. And as a result, the church has lost its way. And we know what happens when the church loses its way. What happens is that the Shekinah, the Holy Spirit, God leaves. And the message also becomes polluted. I'm actually having this message here in this beautiful church. It's, it's a wonderful, beautiful church. The message is lost in the process. And when that message is lost, then what happens is Christianity then becomes infiltrated by false religions, Satanism, heresy. Heretics. Back in the Bible days, Paul had to warn people about wolves in sheep clothing, false preachers who were compromising the word of God. false prophets who were working for Baal, yet sat inside beautiful churches like this, yet they worked for Baal. Which is why we are told, believe not every spirit, for many false spirits has gone out into the world to deceive the very elect. The church is in a crisis, a serious crisis. Who do we choose? Do we follow God or do we follow Baal?
A lot of churches now, they will be forced to ask themselves that question. Who are you loyal to? Who has your salvation? The LGBTQ or God Almighty? We can see the terrible state of the church. We can see that the church is in a serious crisis where you're going to question whether God is male or female. You're going to now question whether gay marriage could be sanctified. Then what value is Christianity? We are told we're supposed to be the salt of the earth. Instead, Christianity is now bowing down to Baal. We are bowing down to Moloch. We are bowing down to idols. The very thing the Bible tells us that we should avoid. I'm actually, um, this, oh, this is interesting. The Bible's on Leviticus, and I've only just come to make my video, and it's on Leviticus. The, the, the sacrifice. Well, that's interesting. How appropriate. We have given ourselves to Moloch. We have given ourselves to Baal. We've compromised the message of the living Lord. We need to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Do we belong to God? Or do we belong to the world? Sadly, Many of us cannot decide, and as a result, we become, as the Bible calls it, lukewarm. We become neither hot or cold, because we have one foot in the church and one foot in the world. We want to please the world, we don't want to please God. Hence why the Christianity that we have today is not what Jesus Christ left. The power of the Pentecost, the power of the Holy Spirit should shake up the world, shake up foundation. But instead, the world is shaking up the church. You know, something is wrong when the church is afraid of the world. Something is seriously wrong when pastors are terrified. They want to get paid. They want to live in lavish houses. So the world comes and shake up the church. You got a question. Do you want to be shaken up by the world or shaken up by God? I hope you enjoy this message, but Christianity is under serious attack. And sadly, many churches are compromising and choosing to lose their salvation and bow down to Moloch, to Baal.